What are you doing back? Morbius's threats persist. Worse, he's filling up a... Hmm? Oh, yes, the last visitor. Well, the one just before you. An interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. What did we speak about? Melancholy fellow. Had questions about uh, history, but... Our conversation got interrupted. Twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time. Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's incessant transmissions keep distracting me. Also, we didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe. Oh well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. I don't make many mistakes in calculation or perception, so probability favors me. Yes.
Yo! Hello there. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing... Uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? Uh, it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV cone? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> that's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises oh, were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? Mm, I love mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. I forget them all not long after, though, especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations, although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Oh, a variety of raisins. You're something of a homily. The uh, anomaly? Uh, you're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well, your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. I'm not sure, except that I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I have very good reasons for almost everything I do. Even if I forget them occasionally. Although I feel this one is especially important. Oh, oh well. No oh, curiosity. I experience that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything! Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. The receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob? Just turn that. Good. Good. Better. Oh. Oh, yes. That feels wonderful. This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break. <sighs> well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they had survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. 
Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes and data drained computers and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or oh, was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. I find things curious as well. Go on. Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the Think Tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan 9s in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. They're probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several Plan 9s in case the 7s fail. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied. Since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world. Sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. 
And the world isn't ready for that kind of too-far thing-taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Is it? I suppose it is. But really, they started the whole excrement hole behavior loop in the first place. Really? It is so unlike me to make an error in anything I do. Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up... Then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Hmm, Mentats? In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... Oh no. I doubt your brain would be so unreasonable. It already knows the trick of it, you see doesn't need to be in a host body at all. If you become friends or exist in an uneasy truce with weapons aimed at each other, it would unlock the fence for you. Well, once the think tank was dealt with, of course, your brain is a responsible sort, doesn't want mad scientists running around everywhere. Hello, Panda.
How are you, Panda? That's good. I'm all right. I see you playing um Fallout. That's, that's cool, that's cool. I consider coincidence to be profanity, <laughs> along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. Mm -hmm. So watch it, potty mouth. <laughs> That's a question. My threat Are you able to get is designed to instill and install fear. And How come you don't the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. Because I'm trying to charge my phone. It prompted them to focus on retrieving <laughs> those <laughs> technologies no, and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my language, oh, all those technologies uh, are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, okay. back uh, into its skull properly. Hello, you eat. I will. Bye. Bye. Sorry. Goodbye, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> The X2 antenna yes. can be used that, to that focus your alpha wave thing. frequency thought mm -hmm. patterns. The sneaky suit, All right. why, it so, uh, houses a cardiac um, regulator. Um, and the sonic so sound say, wave projector uh, emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, knows. brains... A heart what? and courage. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get it them. It is. It's very fun, and right? It won't Charlie? stop the think tank either. It's okay. Oh boy. Okay. No, nah, nah, shit, shit, I, shit, I was gone for a long time. The hell? Next week in Destiny. Oh, that means the my final plan week is a total failure. That is unfortunate. He talks about my fault. Oh, well, at least I tried. Insupport. <laughs> Yes, my overly aggressive camera broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, well, you, you, fear, not rinse, and repeat crucible, program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. Oh man, I'm about to but go. But I couldn't right delete now. you or your <laughs> arrival any more the than I could the other visitors. Right only so I gotta much see. science I gotta can do go. when you started talking to them. I had to do crucible. <laughs> You're really quite <laughs> difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're... That's gonna make my eyes pop out my head. Bah, rather yeah, intriguing you don't want to if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. No, I still got a crucible, though. Yes, yes, yes that, that is, is that, getting that, interesting. That is, that is you... If you read the thing, it's for your soulless quest, right? For the soulless stuff? It tells you on the quest. Do you? Gambit you see, or, 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 and does it or, even um, want to go back with crucible. you? Maybe you should ask That's it. When that one it's quite independent. It has all a little manner of opinions. It's true. Tell you, you what, uh, crash. I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. We're on our last week. Indeed, the uh, goodbye part of our shit. You, you actually leveled up a lot. I know. I was putting in a lot of work. Mm -hmm. This game, you, know, you got to be dedicated. If you're not dedicated, you know, it's gonna take you a bit. 